What is it guys, this is the one and only Samoyly Freak and welcome to a video on my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a quick little short tutorial on how I do things on this game. Of course, um, this does not apply to only this game. It could like be for any game possibly like, I don't know, like Woo's World, probably Animal Jam, I don't know. This is just how I make outfits. Um, there's no like real bases to it and I'm not really good at outfits as you can see in this one right here it was something they've thrown together but I'm gonna show you guys my process of doing it and you guys can pro probably tell me yours in the comments down below but before we jump right into it you guys have to subscribe leave a like and comment down below okay you can probably comment after probably subscribe after probably like after if you really wanted to but I'm just saying that cuz you know a lot of my um, viewers do not subscribe but subscribe if you want to make me happy Yay! But let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I usually do starts off with picking my main part of my outfit. First, let me remove everything, including my hair. I think it, it will be worth it if I remove my hair. Yeah, there we go. We can just, you know, get rid of everything. You have to start from the bottom and get to the top. Um, rares don't matter in this case. We're just trying to make a nice outfit. Here are a few of my outfits um, right here, guys. None of them really look good. This is something I made, like, last week. Um, here's a few. They all have something in common, which is the colors. That's all I'm going to point out, because this one's mainly purple. This one's blue, obviously. What color is this one? Red, obviously. And this is my neon green outfit. Um, they all just match a color. This one, not specifically. We can still see it's going to the theme of black and white, along with this one. Um, yeah, they're mainly with colors, but that's how I make my outfit, so I'm going to do it that way. Sadly, I'm going to keep that tattoo on because it looks pretty cool. But yeah, let's just start off. The first thing I love to do is just to pick a single item. I'm going off my special items because they're the coolest and it's like the best thing to make an outfit off. Let me just quickly choose something and I'll be back with you guys. Holy heck, the alarm in my house went off. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to go with these Desert Wanderer pants. I just recently got them, like not long ago. Somebody gifted them to me. Thank you, but you guys do not have to gift me I'm just gonna go with that one because it has like a nice light white color. sorry I'm just gonna be a little bit low because there's people in the room next door and I don't want them hearing me that well so yeah I'm just gonna go with that and we're gonna go through every single one of these and try to find something to match with it this is how I do it you guys don't have to copy me but that's just how I do it like I said the first thing I'm seeing is this but only because it's also white you can also choose like different um, colors like this I mean I guess but as you can see this is like a torn up outfit so might as well go with something that matches like I'm looking at this but I don't think it would work with it maybe this like if we changed up the colors a little bit actually I'm just gonna see if I have these pants in a different color because I don't really know yeah I do have them they're in black see automatically you can see the change like this color to that and it sort of matches my top I'm just gonna keep it like that like I said I usually go with the same color um, I could easily like go for another long sleeve shirt of course like I can choose red and it will still look good personally I think black and white goes well with everything that's why the majority of my items are black and white as you can see with my three white shirts right here in a row four oh geez yeah, we can also like go with that, the same shirt we had before, but white. We can quickly look at the one piece. I don't have many dresses, but I do have like jumpers and stuff like that and jumpsuits. Um, before I only had three dresses. Now, since people have been giving me stuff, please don't stop. I've just looked at this. Nothing really matches what I'm wearing, but we can always just change up the outfit by clicking something random. Like if we really wanted to, I can say, hey, I'm going to wear a construct jumpsuit today. Boom, I'm wearing a construct jumpsuit. Let's make an outfit off that. <laughs> but I'm gonna switch back to what I was wearing before just to keep it constant, you know what I mean. I never really go for coats, but sometimes when something gets, you know, cute enough, I have like two outfits that I used to wear with coats and jackets or vest or whatever they're really called. But I don't think anything would match for this one. Obama 08, I didn't even know I had this shirt. <laughs> I was gonna go to head, but of course you need hair before you go for head. Um, this outfit doesn't really look like it wants long hair. Like in my eyes, I don't see long hair going well with this outfit. It, like look a little bit weird. Maybe this one to keep the punk look, but I don't think I want the long hair, especially for this. It's of course your choice. You guys have to look through everything. Angela hair, my favorite hair. Um, yeah, you guys can look through it, but I'm gonna go with short hair for this. My personal favorite hair is short and shaved two-toned hair. You can't really see the two-tone. There's a black streak there, but it doesn't really stand out, but I really like the hair myself. I don't know. 
Um, it makes me look cool and it keeps the punk look just like that other long hair I just showed you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this one and see what we can do with it. If it doesn't really fit well, then I might change it, but for now I'm gonna keep it. The cool thing into this game would be earrings. Like when I put on those sunglasses, I just, these sunglasses, I thought I had earrings on. That would be a really cool addition to the game. Um, if I don't find anything better, I think I'm gonna stick with these glasses. Definitely sticking with the glasses. Let's just move on and see what else we can do. I don't think I need to further explain this, but I'll show you guys my end result in a second. And as you can see, I added a little bit of pink into the outfit just because I didn't really want to just wear black shoes. Um, a little tip of advice that if you're going to wear a certain color, the color should never go in alone. Like if I took off my little magical potion, my aura, um, and like removed it completely, you can obviously see that my shoes do stand out if it's just like alone like that. But it doesn't really match the outfit. Like people will look like, oh wow, she's wearing pink shoes, must not match anything. But that's why I threw on a little aura around me, you know, just to keep a little pink theme, I guess. The, the shoes stand out a little bit better, in my opinion, if I wear the aura. And I hope that's it for now. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you guys want a more better and detailed one, just ask me in the comments down below and I'll try to write out something if you want to know something specific from what I'm telling you here. But other than that, I think I'm done. Please vote in the side right now in the info card in the side. Does this outfit is this outfit on fleek or what? Like, please vote right now. It's popping up. You can literally click it right now. It's not It's not harming you. It's easy. Just just yes or no. Yes or no, fab, fab. I'll probably put like a rating 1 to 10. No, I'll probably put like yes or no. But is this outfit on fleek? Let me know in the comments down below and voting. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya.